Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about the remaining problems that are associated with this short channel effects. In the previous video, I have explained you about the jewel induced uh, drain induced barrier lowering and punch through. Later, you have seen surface scattering. Okay, drain induced barrier lowering is nothing but by increasing the voltage between drain and source, the channel between the source and drain is getting lower and completely breaks down and uh, results in a punch through. Later, we are entering into a surface scattering because the electrons which are there between source and drain as there is no channel, still if you are increasing the VDS voltage, the electrons become scattered and completely move around the surface of this transistor. Okay, So now it is the time to discuss velocity saturation because the, there is a limitation for this uh, velocity of the electrons when we are applying the electric field between drain and source okay that is limited to a maximum of 10 power 7 volts per uh, centimeters per volt but when we are increasing the more voltage across this uh, source and drain that leads to velocity of the electrons to be increased okay uh, let us see the third one which is velocity saturation. So velocity saturation is nothing but when we are increasing the VDS voltage when the electric field in Y direction nothing but VDS or we can say EDS is increased what happens then the electrons velocity electrons velocity increases electron velocity increases and crosses crosses the conventional velocity crosses the conventional velocity what is the value of the conventional velocity generally the value of the conventional velocity uh, like um, velocity of electron conventional Conventional is nothing but for the normal VDS voltage, it will be like a 10 power 4 volt per centimeter. 10 power 4 volts per centimeter. This we can call it as a drift velocity. This we can call it as drift velocity. But because of the increment in the VDS voltage, the drift velocity now becomes drift velocity approaches the saturation value the saturation velocity value that is equal to 10 power 7 volt per centimeters 10 power 7 volt uh, sorry it is a centimeter per second centimeter per second this is normally the conventional velocity that increases now we can say that increases by 10 power 4 volts per centimeters. Okay, that makes the drift velocity to increase and its saturation value becomes 10 power 7 centimeter per second. Okay, so when the drift velocity touches this value, then the electron becomes hot electron because of this more mobility in the electron. Hope you understand how this is related to the hot electron concept. Okay, when the electron becomes the free electron and the velocity of the electron still increases, then the velocity becomes more and more active and enters into the insulator when becomes a hot electron. Okay, so now let us see the fourth effect which is impact ionization. Impact ionization. 
so impact ionization the presence of high longitudinal fields the presence of high longitudinal fields can accelerate electrons that may be able to ionize silicon atoms by impacting against them by impacting against them normally most of the electrons are attracted by the drain so it is possible a higher concentration of holes near the source normally most of the electrons are attracted by drain so it is possible a higher concentration of holes near the source near the source if the holes concentration on the source is able to create a voltage drop on the source substrate that is a n p junction where n and p junction is there of the about 0.6 volts then what happens electron may be injected from the source to substrate or electron travels towards the drain increasing their energy and electron may escape from the drain fields and affect other devices so the, these are the different problems that we encounter when we are having this impact on the ionization so if the holes concentration on the source is able to create a voltage drop on the source substrate n p junction we can say source and substrate n p junction of about 0.6 volts then electron may be injected electron may be injected from source to substrate source to substrate and electron travel towards the drain increasing their energy increasing their energy and create new electron hole pair new electron hole pair and electron may escape the drain field electron may escape the drain field and affect other devices affect other devices see here what the concept is saying is when we are increasing the more velocity vds the electrons are injecting from source to substrate and as well as the electron travel towards the drain and increasing the more energy to create electron hole pair still if you further go then the electron may escape from the drain field and they affect other devices that means the electrons are entering into the other devices because of these hot electrons so coming to the last concept where hot electrons 
hot electrons means as this results like ion impact uh, impact ionization and velocity saturation in these two concepts we have discussed that the electron travels with more velocity than the drift velocity because of that the electron becomes hot electron and much this type of electrons are entering into the insulator and insulator becomes a conductor because of these hot electrons suppose if you see the structure of a mass transistor this is the source and this is the drain we are having a polysilicon and here oxal layer now yes this is the condition drain induced barrier lowering and these are the electrons which are now traveling in the surface because of this velocity electrons and impact ionization these electrons are trying to enter into this oxal layer the electrons are trying into entering into the oxal layer see electrons are entering into the oxal layer entering into the oxal layer what is the problem because of this when the electrons are entering into the oxal layer generally oxide is an insulator oxide is an insulator but because of these hot electrons the insulator comes into conduction insulator comes into conduction then there is no insulation between polysilicon and this substrate then what happens the gate action will not work and the transistor will not work properly okay this is the result of the hot electrons okay the channel hot electrons the channel hot electrons the effect is caused by electrons flowing in the channel for large radius for large radius all these are the problems when we are having more radius voltage so electrons arriving at the silicon silicon substrate uh, silicon dioxide interface with uh, enough kinetic energy electrons arriving at the what is the junction silicon and silicon dioxide junction interface with enough kinetic energy enough kinetic energy to surmount the surface potential barrier or injected into the oxide inject into the oxide this may degrade this may degrade permanently the cv characteristics of cv characteristics cv characteristics is nothing but the past and voltage characteristics of MOSFET MOSFETs okay so these are the effects of hot electrons and uh, all these are coming under short channel effects okay that means charge across voltage charge and voltage this is across the we can say current and voltage like here charge and voltage capacitor charging and discharging because of the internal effects of the transistor okay because when we are taking the mass fat structure the hot electrons changing the properties of the gate material where we are having the gate is at the polysilicon and here we have oxal layer here it is the substrate so capacitance action is there generally capacitance is existed at the polysilicon and the substrate uh, in between these two we are having an oxal layer so capacitance action should be there 
okay this type of capacitance charging and discharging will be affected because of this hot electron so charge and the voltage characteristics may be affected because of this hot electrons okay thank you